The Forex and Finex processes are the industrially realized alternatives to the blast furnace rule for hot metal production. Due to their more economical and ecological characteristics, their use has been gaining ground over the last two decades. The heart of these processes is the Maltragasifier reactor. In the Maltragasifier unit, the iron ore production is completed by the reduction gas, CO and hydrogen, and further smelting in order to leave the system in hot liquid form. The generator gas exits the Maltragasifier through its top and is further processed in order to pre-reduce the iron ores, either in a shaft, in case of Corex process, or in a fluidized bed reactor a cascade, in case of Finex process. It can be seen from this figure that the coal lumps are first dried and devolatilized by the gases produced by the DRI smelting. Then, gasification and partial combustion of the coal takes place by the oxygen blown into the system, which supplies the energy needed for final reduction and smelting of the direct reduced iron at the lower part of the reactor. Thus, the smelting of the direct reduced iron takes place at the lower part of the reactor at temperatures of about 1500 to 1800 degrees of Celsius. The gasification and partial combustion of the coal takes place at the upper part of the reactor at temperatures of about 1000 to 1200 degrees of Celsius. The Meltra gasifier operates at pressure 5 atmospheres. The hot metal and slag tapped from this Meltra gasifier reactor are very similar to blast furnace products. The hot metal contains from 4 to 4.5% of carbon, from 0.02 to 0.09% of sulfur, and from 0.03 to 0.8% of silicon.